Hello internet peeps, uh, it's Colin here with his day. I uh, found a new method of doing my painkillers, so um, why it didn't occur to me sooner, um, I've started taking them late at night and um, that gives me a better quality of sleep, so hopefully it will improve my life a little bit, but here we go. And today I wanted to um, do a video that I promised a while ago, and I must apologise to the subscriber who asked me. Um, I'll mention him in the comments. Um, he asked me about um, a racing series um, called um, Trackstar Collectibles and this is a very interesting series. It was um, a company um, that came from Australia and they made a very interesting line of cars um, now, these are actually template boxes, as you can see it's got a Czech flag there and a uh, USA flag. Um, so the metal, uh, they slide out, you can keep your car in there. I do keep my car in there, but I do display it with the car. Um, apparently there was a problem with licensing with this company. Um, there's a, oh, it's a bit sketchy what the history of this company it no longer exists and these cars are very hard to come by now and I'm lucky to have a set um, I must have just been at the right place at the right time which often happens to me um, lucky in one way and lucky in another but um, this one is particularly good because it's got the Castrol livery um, racing trucks uh, we don't have such well we do have, don't have sort of like pickups in this country like this we do have racing trucks but not racing pickups and this fascinates me somewhat. Um, they're not amazing quality. Um, as you can see, they've got rather crude plastic wheels and a very cheap plastic base. But they do have printed their um, walls and the tyres. They do look the business. Um, apparently, they did get some licenses in it, licensing as the deal went on. But they uh, missed out on some. This one... Is not a track stars, but I'll pop it in there because um, it's very similar. And um, what did I do with this one? I changed something on this one. I can't remember. This one I've had open. I changed. I can't remember what I changed on it now. Um, but this is. Um, I like this because it was Hooters. Um, apparently, it's Hooters. Um, I think this is um, some sort of. Um, there you go. Hooters spirits. I think it's some sort of. Um, can be um, oh, off license. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, that one I changed and I, I I've glued it there. I can't remember what I did now, but it looks a lot better the way it is. But I can't remember how I changed it, but I did. Um, that, that looks killer. I can't even tell you which maker it's by because it doesn't say. It says um, Chevy Silverado made under license, and that's all it says. I couldn't tell you it's made by, um, but there we go. That's very nice. I, I like that. Uh, I saw I saw it. I like the colouring. I picked it up. So that that isn't part of the set, but it was next in line. But this um, is the one that originally brought my attention to because um, I have two of these that brought my attention to these Trackstar collectibles. Everybody's heard of WD40. And I this caught my eye. I don't know where my other one is. It's probably still up there, not going up again. Um, it was in a job lot. And I thought, what the hell is that? That is just killer. I love the livery. As you can see, it's just track stars on, on, the, on, the, on the roof there. It's got WD-40 on the back. So it's got decals all the way around. It's well done. Still the same cheap plastic base. But, um, wow, that one just blew me away. So then I researched it a little bit and found this set. And I'm lucky I did because I've just checked online and there's none of the... You can't buy any of these now. Another another tin. Lovely artwork on there. It's a shame they went out of business. They made some good stuff. So there you go, there's another one. Cool. They don't have any details on the bottom um, bottom of these cars. It just says made in China. So there you go. There's a stock car with Prestone on it. Whatever Prestone is. Again, really cheap plastic base. But 
they killed it on the, on the um, decals, they really did. You've got um, the roll cage in there, the single seat, again the great details on the tyres, don't know if you can pick out what it says on the tyres, I can't, it's too small. There you go, another metal box, it actually has a picture of the car on the bottom of the box as well. But it has very few details on it. Just this pressed down picture of the uh, car. Pop your car in there if you like. Nice feature. I mean, hmm, I don't know why that would be a nice feature for any uh, any manufacturer to do. Uh, if you put some sort of like holder in the car for there, that would be much better than any of these flashy boxes they make. But there we are. It's just. Um, I quite like uh, a cardboard box, but if they wanted to go that way, I'd be happy with that. Here's another one. <coughs> well, I think it's another Prestone one, but this is um, the van. I, pre I presume these are Silverados, but I'm not sure because I don't think they were licensed, so that's how they got round it first off. I don't think they started with any licenses and they just went as um, did it as they went along, but there's very little information. This company was in practice in the late, in, late 90s, early 2000s, so um, I hope you like these as much as I do, because you're very unlikely to see any. Um, they were more very much, um, they weren't rated at the time, and only a few people bought them, so unfortunately they went out of business, but I don't, I would have bought them, but they're brilliant. <clears throat> right, so those are the four of those I've got. Um have got a double of that one and they do do race cars but I haven't got any of the race cars um, but what we will go on to is the Circle Trucker which is um, a Hot Wheels um, casting that I particularly like and I've got a few of those they are plastic bases there's no flash ones of these that I've seen um, this is quite an interesting one with those highlighted wheels there I like the blue blue livery with a 20 on the side. They do have the roll cage in there. They do have the details. No headlight details or rear details. But it's a racing truck. So This one, um, as you can see, is orange, which is special to me. Number 33. In great condition. I've had these a long while. I can't even remember where and where, and got, where I got them now. But um, we'll go through them. This is a more recent one. I have got a few of these. If any of you particularly wanted one, let me know, because I've got a few, because this was the treasure hunt. I think it was last year or the year before. Um, caught my eye because of the orange, but this was a treasure hunt, and there's the treasure hunt symbol there, just just on the uh, fender. Uh, number 20. Very nice orange orange glass on that one. That's a fantastic car. It's been a while since I've, I've looked at these. I have to dig them out. This one's a little bit rougher. Number 30. That's got a sort of like a fin on the roof. They've all got that. It must be for the air oil or whatever. Uh, these are interesting. Uh, these must meant to um, simulate the bars. That's how they've done it. For the roll cage sort of thing. That's interesting. Got a Hot Wheels logo on the hood there and something out of some other details. I don't know. I can't see them. But that one's a bit beat up. This one I've actually got two of. Number 15. This one is unusual to the other ones. The other ones have all got metal shells and plastic chassis. This one's got a metal chassis and a plastic body. So um, with me having two, I might change out one of my um, favoured ones for uh, change out the chassis on it and put a better chassis in it. Because uh, I do like all metal, so it will probably be the orange one. Or um, if it was to fit. I might be able to change it out for one of those because it doesn't look a million miles away. I might be able to make it fit, and that would be nice, wouldn't it? One of those, perhaps the WD41 because I've got two. Put a metal chassis on it. That would be, mind you, the wheels and a patch on it. No, no, I wouldn't lose out on the wheels, but maybe we could change the wheels over. There we go. There's a project that's in mind for me if I get round to it. So there you go, two of those. Why I've got two, I don't know. Probably because I didn't know I had one and picked up another one. Sorry, cheap. Um, and this one is um, a fairly recent one as well. I think I bought this one out of the packet or bought it myself. It's been a while. Very nice turquoise with 33. Most of them have got 33 on. 
yellow accents on the wheels. Uh, got loads of different. Oh, there you go. Can't that one. Not the one to talk to us. Oh, it's balanced on there quite precariously. But there we go. Um, there we go. So um, we'll um, end it there on that one. Um, I hope you enjoyed those Trackstar Collapticals, because I did. I thought they were brilliant. Um, and I have other, one, other videos I'm going to do today, so uh, that won't be the end of it, but it's the end of it for now. Alright? Bye-bye.